What is up guys? So for this video, I want to talk about the upcoming fourth season of Better Call Saul regarding how well Jimmy McGill knows Gustavo Fring. So, as we all remember from season 3 of Better Call Saul in the episode entitled Witness, Jimmy meets Gus in the Los Pollos Hermanos restaurant when Mike enlists Jimmy's help to observe what happens inside the restaurant as a part of the plot where Mike is trying to figure out who placed the don't sign on his car when he attempted to kill Hector during the season finale of season 2 of Better Call Saul and the episode episode entitled Click. In this scene, Jimmy unsubtly searches the trash can after the man Mike told him to observe, throws away his food, and leaves the restaurant. Jimmy is then interrupted by Gus, who inquires more information about what Jimmy is doing. Can I help you? Uh, my watch uh, clasp uh, is loose. It falls. I tried to reach it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Allow me. Yeah, they say a nice watch band is as important as the watch. That's what I get for cheaping out. <laughs> You'll find it for you. <laughs> Who the heck is it? Oh, don't worry. If it's in here, I'll... Ah, there it is. Oh. May I clean this for you? We have alcohol wipes. I uh, know, it's been in worse places. Thank you. That was very nice of you. No problem. It's my pleasure. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no. Thanks. You take care. This scene culminates with Jimmy telling Mike that he saw nothing out of the ordinary when he was in the restaurant. However, the audience is aware that Gus was aware of what Jimmy was doing when Mike drives away, and is also aware that Mike is trying to discover who interfered with his attempted assassination of Hector. What is really cool about this scene is that this is the first time we ever see Jimmy interact with Gus. Even over the course of Breaking Bad, Saul never meets Gus in person and never interacts with him directly, as he did in this scene in Season 3 of Better call Saul. The reason I bring this scene up is that Saul first mentions Gus to Walt in season 2 of Breaking Bad in the episode entitled Mandala. Here in this episode, Saul helps Walt and Jesse find a new distributor to sell their product of methamphetamine on hand to after their chain of distribution is interrupted after Combo is shot and all of their dealers quit on them. What you two need is an honest to God businessman, right? Somebody who treats your product like the simple high margin commodity that it is. Somebody who ships out of town, deals only in bulk. Someone who's been doing this for 20 years and never been caught. You know someone like that? Let's just say I know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy. However, in this scene, Saul makes it clear that he does not know that this distributor is in fact Gus Fring, the man he met in the Los Pollos Hermanos restaurant many years ago in 2003. Well, what's his name? I have no idea. He's very low profile. He's careful like that. You know, from what I do hear about him, he sounds a little like you. So, according to this dialogue of this scene, Saul has no idea who Gus is at this point in time in Breaking Bad, which would be about five years after his first encounter with Gus in 2003 in the episode Witness in Season 3 of Better Call Saul in the Los Pollos Hermanos restaurant. So, moving forward in Season 4 of Better Call Saul, it looks like Jimmy will have little to no interaction with Gus Fring. In the dialogue from Season 2 of Breaking Bad, Saul states that he doesn't know the name of the distributor, but what he does hear about him, he sounds a little like Walt. So, from this dialogue, I think we can infer that Mike might have told Saul some minor details about his contact, Gus Fring, who Mike now works for, and then told Saul that Gus was interested in meeting Walt due to his high quality of his meth. Additionally, in this dialogue, when Saul says that he knows a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy, I think we can presume that he's talking about Mike, who then talked to Victor, who then talked to Gus. As a side note, in the episode Green Light in Season 3 of Breaking Bad, Mike tells Gus directly that Jesse is looking to sell a pound of meth. This would circumvent the chain of command which Saul states to Walt by cutting out Victor, but in my opinion, I think Mike used this opportunity of him meeting with Gus to talk about the status of Walt's health as an opportunity to streamline the chain of command because he was already meeting with Gus, when he would usually speak with Victor, who would then speak with Gus. We see the chain of command Saul talks about materialize in Season 3 of Breaking Bad in the episode entitled Caballo Sin Nombre, when Mike calls Victor to alert Gus that the cousins are planning on killing Walt in retaliation for killing Tuco. Also, moving 
Moving forward in Season 4 of Better Call Saul, I think this dialogue from Season 2 of Breaking Bad displays to us that Jimmy and Mike will have separate individual plots moving forward. In Season 3 of Better Call Saul, Jimmy and Mike did not have very much interaction together. We did see them together in the episode entitled Witness, as I mentioned, and we also see them together in the episode entitled Sabrosito, when Jimmy enlists Mike's help to pose as a repairman who Chuck hired to fix the door which Jimmy kicked in. Here, along with fixing the door, Mike takes pictures of Chuck's house and gives these pictures to Jimmy when they meet at Loyola's diner. It's revealed to us in the episode entitled Chicanery in Season 3 of Better Call Saul that Jimmy sent these photos to Rebecca, Chuck's ex-wife, as a proof of his electromagnetic hypersensitivity illness to get her to come to Jimmy's bar hearing in order to fluster Chuck due to her concern for Chuck based on this medical condition. So, after the episode Sabrosito, Jimmy and Mike do not interact with the remaining six episodes of Season 3. These two characters both have their own respective plots over the course of the second half of Season 3 and do not converse at all. So, in my opinion, I think the second half of Season 3 could be a prelude for these two characters not interacting very much in Season 4 of Better Call Saul. It looks like moving forward, Mike will now be working for Gus in the capacity we saw him in Breaking Bad after his meeting with Lydia at Magical Electromotive in the episode titled Fall. Interestingly, in this scene at this point in time, even Mike is not aware of who Gus Spring really is and the influence that he has. This is made apparent to us after he asks Lydia why she's risking a lot for just a drug dealer, to which Lydia responds that if Mike thinks that Gus Fring is only a drug dealer, he doesn't know Gustavo Fring. So, it looks like Mike will now discover much more about his new boss moving forward in Season 4 of Better Call Saul. So, with all this being said, in Season 4 of Better Call Saul, it's looking like Jimmy and Mike's paths will cross less and less as Jimmy continues to focus on building his law practice we saw in Breaking Bad and transitioning from Jimmy McGill into Saul Goodman. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to check out the other Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad videos on my channel. My name is Anton Jackson. Thanks again for watching.